Hello everyone. Welcome to new video off Whiteout Survival. Today I have come with a new guide for you. If you are a free to play player, this will be important for you. Today I will tell you how to get city skin and marching skin for free. You may think free city skin and marching skin is impossible for free to play player. But there is a way by which you can get them for free. But you will not get all skins for free. These are the city skin and marching skin, which you can get for free. Follow everything which I say in video and get them. I am myself a free to play player and I got mammoth marching skin. As you can see now I own this marching skin. Even this skin has a bonus stat. So let's jump in our video. To get these skins, you have to take part in the Frosty Fortune event. Frosty Fortune event comes in every three weeks. This event contains three parts, Treasure Hunt Drill, Frosty Fortune, and Emporium of Enigma. In Treasure Hunt Drill, you have to do several tasks as daily mission. There you will get Gem of Enigma. Using Gem of Enigma, you have to open boxes in Frosty Fortune. If you are lucky, you will get Thorn of Enigma. And, using the Thorn of Enigma, you have to exchange for skin and other items in Emporium of Enigma. It is very hard to get Thorn of Enigma in Frosty Fortune, as it contains tur luck. So, here the trick is, you have to skip this box opening part of this event, minimum for times. As you can see, the chance of getting Thorn of Enigma is very low. You can get 100 Thorn of Enigma but, the chance is to percent. So, the trick is, don't participate in Frosty Fortune for minimum for times, as this event comes in every 3 weeks. If you skip this event for times, you have to wait for 12 weeks. Ok I am opening a box in front of you. To open box, each time, it will cost 60 Gem of Enigma. See, I did not get Thorn of Enigma. Now you have realized how hard it is. But if you wait for 12 weeks, you will get a marching skin without any problem. If you are a pay to win player, you will get double gem of enigma daily. So without skipping event, you will get skin. If you are a free to play player, it will take time. But don't worry, you will get skin for free. Now let's see the calculation. How you can get skin by skipping the event for times. For this calculation, we assume that you are opening only Splendid Chest. If you do daily missions, you will get 120 Gem of Enigma. Total in 7 days, you will get 120 multiply 7 equals 840. From Treasure Hunt Drill you will get 240. Total in one event, you will get 840 plus 240 equals 1080 Gem of Enigma. Now if one Splendid Chest costs 60 Gem of Enigma, you can open 108,060 equals 18 chest. So in one event, you can open an 18 splendid chest. Now let's see how much Thorn of Enigma you can get in one chest. Chance of getting 100 Thorn is 2%, so its value is 0.02. Chance of getting 50 Thorn is 6%, so its value is 0.06. Chance of getting 20 Thorn is 42%, so its value is 0.42. So chance for getting Thorn in one chest is 100 0. 02 plus 50 0.06 plus 20 0.42 equals 13.4. In round figure, we can say from one chest, you can get 13 Thorn of Enigma. We saw using 1080 Gem of Enigma, you can open an 18 chest. So from 18 chest, total we can get 18 times 13 equals 230 for Enigma. From one event, we can get 230 for Thorn of Enigma. If we skip this for times, in fifth time, we can get 230 for times for equals 936 Thorn of Enigma. There are two marching skins cost for 120 and 280 Thorn of Enigma. If you skip this event for times, you can get at least one marching skin, or if you are lucky, you can get both skin. I am talking about luck because this value 936 is made with calculation, actual number can be higher or lower. And if you skip this event 10 times, you can get at least one city skin without any problem. Remember, skipping event means you should not open chest, but you must do the daily missions to collect gem of enigma. 
After this event ends, Thorn of Enigma will be vanished. The Gem of Enigma will be there in your back. And you can use that Gem of Enigma in future. Getting skin as free to play player is hard and time consuming but not impossible. Just keep patience. The calculation is made with percentage and actual value may differ. The daily missions are very simple, like you speed up, defeat beasts, so don't miss them. This is the thing which will help you to get free skin. As you can already see I have 520 gem, but I am not using them. I will use them after 3 events later. If you ask which item should you buy after skins, answer is fire crystal and custom hero widget chest. If you open your bag after event ends, you will find Gem of Enigma is there. It will not be vanished. So keep in mind, it is Gem of Enigma, which you have to save in for times events. If you don't get Splendid Chest, just refresh it. I kept 936 value assuming that you will waste some gem to refresh it. Sometimes, you can get 2 or 3 Splendid Chest in one round. If you ask which skin has better animation, the answer is Mammoth for Marching Skin and Windmill for City Skin, but it may vary person to person. You can trust this calculation, because in my last video on Lucky Wheel, you saw theoretical value and practical. Value are almost same. That is all for this video. To watch more, subscribe.